Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends. Happy Monday. So today, as we do our reading, I'd like us to read out of Psalms 96 to 100. I uh, want us to read Psalm 97, verses 7 to 9. Verse 7 says, Those who worship idols are disgraced, all who brag about their worthless idols. For every god must bow to him. Recently, I read about a well-known Hollywood celebrity and actor, you would know him if I mentioned his name, who was being interviewed about his beliefs. And he said, I don't have any religious construct, but I think nature and God are the same thing. That's a lot of people believe that. But he went on, he said, there's a Protestant theologian named Paul Tillich who wrote that if you have trouble with the word God, take whatever is central and most meaningful to your life and call that God. Well, I read that and I laughed because, you know, he's saying, you know, if you have trouble with God, I have trouble with the word God. So I'm just going to make up my own God. <laughs> you know, instead of attempting to seek and to invest in getting to know the true God as he has revealed himself to us, people would rather often make God out of their own image or their own sense of values and worth. That's what this man is doing. And so they choose, they choose who will be God, which really makes them their own God. Well, it's true that everyone worships something, everyone. Now, you will worship what you value most, what is worth most to you, and that is true. But of course, the gods we make on earth are not gods at all, and they are are all, they're all destined one day to bow to the one true and living God. And so the difference for us is, as believers and followers of Jesus, is that we recognize and know who God is. We know him as he's revealed himself to us. And we choose to bow to him willingly in our lives right now. Verse 9 says, For you, O Lord, are supreme over all the earth. You are are exalted far above all gods. And so, today, South Lake family and friends, let's exalt him, the true God, Jesus Christ, over all gods and idols of this world. As the Revelation says, Thou art worthy, O Lord. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Worthy to receive glory and honor and power. And so, Lord, this day, as we commit our day and our way to you, we choose to exalt you as the God of the universe, the one, the only one who is worthy of all glory, honor, and power. We bow to you today. Thank you that you have received us into your family, and we follow you today by grace, and we exalt you and worship and praise you. Thank you for providing for us today, for protecting us, and for directing us, our families and our church family. That's our prayer in Jesus' name. Well, say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. Well, have a great day praying for you today, and I'll look forward to talking to you again in the morning. God bless.